Hi everyone, I'm going for three in one. One of my crazy ideas, don't know if it will work, but I'll try. I've got this uh, lovely fairy that I've cut out from a calendar I got for years and really wanted to use this uh, lovely fairy. So she is going to be my focal point for uh, the page in my art journal uh, and it's in my mixed media uh, notebook or pad. So I'm planning on doing an art journal page here for the fairy and while I'm doing that I'm going to do <laughs> a greeting card and a, an envelope that will be decorated and almost coordinating with the <laughs> art journal page. We'll see if it will work. So. I uh, already gessoed my page. I needed a nice primer because I want to blend some colors in the background and I don't want the paper to absorb the paint before I have a chance to blend and move it. So uh, the gesso is already dry and I've got these three uh, acrylic paints from DecoArt. I've got Flesh, Luscious Lemon and Early Spring Green and of course I've got white and randomly I want to put them on my page And now I'm putting white in the hopes that, uh, well, it will add to the toning of my colors and add interest to the whole thing. Let's hope I will have a nice background. So I'm taking a sponge and I'm uh, putting a little bit of water on it. And I'm going to start just spreading... the colors and I think maybe I just put too much water but I'll continue and maybe I'll just uh, add another layer of paint if need be but it, ne it seems like there is a subtle blending between the colors which I do like and I wasn't looking for something that would be very, very pronounced. I, I wanted subtle, so maybe it's good that it's like this. Just a little bit more here. Yeah, I really, really like this background and this is only the start. So I'm going to let it uh, dry and now I'm for the greeting card I took a paper from my sketch pad I like this paper and I cut it to size to be something like that so I will have a some kind of frame uh, left if I'm putting it down so right now I'm just going to do the same thing I've done here I'm going to do here and I didn't gesso this, uh, I hope it will work, maybe I'll just spray it a little bit with water. I hope I won't regret being lazy and not gessoing it. Trying to move quickly.
Okay, so doing the same thing here on my greeting card. Same thing, but I think there is a little bit of difference between how this looks and how this one looks, but not. Uh, it's not really uh, critical for what I'm planning, so I'm going to leave it be. Next time I'll just do the same thing <laughs> and put the gesso. <laughs> Also here, I want a little bit more white. Okay, so both of the this are needs to dry and for to so I can continue I'll be back I'm back so now I've got this to uh, I've got the page I've got the greeting card and I want to place it here and I need it to so it won't move and I've got this a uh, scotch removable stick and I'm gonna try and put a little bit here in the hooks that it will uh, stick but still be removable later and I'm placing it here and now I want to start to stamp all around this page and I'm going with flowers and I've got several here let's try and see if my crazy ID works so I'm taking this and placing it here. So I've got a stamp here on my original page and I've got half a stamp on my greeting card. And I want to alternate between several stamps. So I'm taking another one again placing it so I've got on my a uh, on my page and on the greeting card so let's see I've got another one there are all I've picked some that are that look almost the same but in several sizes just to keep it a little bit more interesting And I'm thinking maybe just here also. Yeah. And switching to another one. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to go around the page and do the same thing. I can also overlap the, the flowers, they don't have to be side by side, just a matter of what you want to do. And I can also get in with one of the flowers like this and add to my greeting card, it doesn't have to be uh, on both of them. So switching again. So that's what I'm going to do and it's going to take me some time to go all over. So I'll be back when I'm finished going all around my page. I'll be back. 
I'm back so everything here is stamped I also stamped on an envelope that will go with the greeting card and I've done it over the flap again half <laughs> half in half out here on the seam and now I want to color a uh, my uh, flowers not completely but I want to give it a little bit more presence uh, here now uh, the colors I used in the background reminded me of these markers that I have they are like almost exactly the same so I figured maybe I'll try and use this and also because I've got overlapping and this kind of markers are uh, partly uh, transparent I thought that maybe it would be nice uh, to use and I just going to go over my flowers and I'm not trying to uh, be uh, in the lines just putting down some color uh, and it's going to be randomly I really don't care and of course the color will not uh, look the same because it's on top of another color and as I said this is transparent you can use whatever you want to color your flowers it can be uh, regular felt pens it can be watercolors whatever is uh, <laughs> it is you have available it really doesn't matter and if you like it like that then you can also leave it as is you don't have to color it so i've got again quite a work for me here a uh, coloring uh, this uh, flowers and as i said i'm just putting down a little bit of paint almost like a uh, watercolors and it's going to take some time <laughs> and I'll be back when I've got it finished and I'll do the same thing here on the envelope and then we'll continue I'll be back I'm back so as you can see <laughs> I've completed the, this task of uh, coloring everything now I'm removing my greeting card which is going like this and here is the envelope and for now I'm just going to put it aside and now for the main character of this uh, page here is my lovely fairy and <clears throat> I'm thinking that maybe I should uh, stamp something in the back and but very subtle so it won't take from the focal image and from the frame I've just made so let's see I'm thinking butterflies because I already have flowers so let's take a butterfly and let's see I'm going to take this butterfly and I want to find something that will be like <coughs> hardly seen <laughs> if uh, it will be in the back but not will not pop up let's hope let's stamp it here and see first now it's like dirty with some other ink Wait, let's see. Maybe it will work. If not, I'll take another stamp. No, I don't like it. Let's see. Let's try this one. No, don't know what's up with this uh, stamp. I'm going to pick some another butterfly, which is a shame. But 
will continue. Okay. So another butterfly coming. And let's see, another ink pad. I've got a red one. This ink pad is from office supplies. These are the ones that were used, uh, you know, like in libraries and things like that. So, and it was very cheap because it for, was for uh, office supply and not a uh, craft. yeah yeah that's it and let's see i know uh where is it here it is and i want something more <laughs> uh, i've got i wanted some text in the background and i've got here let your joy pop open like flowers in the spring so this should be nice Yeah, that's it. That's my. <laughs> now I'm satisfied. Now just glue and I'll have my fairy in place. Maybe this red, now that I'm looking at it, is a little bit too much, but it does connect with my image of the fairy with the flowers, the red flowers. And so I'll live with it. So a little bit glue on the back. Okay. Just a little bit here. And yeah. This is it. That's my original page. I really like it. It was so long I wanted to use this fairy and I didn't have a clue what, how to do it without taking from the image. And I had just one more ID for the greeting card and the envelope, the calendar, yeah, which is from 2000. 2001 has the little picture of each page in the back so I'm thinking maybe I should take this and glue it here so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it and I'll come back I'm back so this is it that's my uh, original page I've stamped another uh, of the butterflies here uh, cut out this little picture and stamp the same saying here and this is it the <laughs> three in one original page greeting card and <laughs> an envelope <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now